Hey guys, today I'm doing my first ever makeup inventory. I hope that this will make me more aware of the amount of items I have in each category, which will help me stop buying so many things. And I'm going to start off with primers for the face. I went from having one to zero and now I have three primers. This is definitely a category that I want to downsize. One or two is ample for me. So this is actually in my project pan, the April Skin. Perfect Magic Face Starter and I have the Innisfree No Sebum Blur Primer and from Etude House the Face Blur Primer. I never used to have any eye primers but now I have three and this is in my project pan. This is the e.l.f. Duo but this side comes with the primer and another one that I have, this is from April Skin, this is the Perfect Magic. This is better than this, don't get the e.l.f. one. And this is from Rimmel, it's the Magnify Eyes Primer and this is brand new. This is the category that I have the biggest problem in because this is foundations and foundations do not tend to last as long as powder products. I have eight and once I'm done with this, I want to have lesser. I do not want to have so many again. And these two are in my project pan from Clematis. This is the Fluffy Liquid Full Cover Foundation from Rimmel Wake Me Up and from Misha. This is the Perfect Cover BB Cream and I'm really glad that I bought the small size and not the full size when I was in Korea. And from Alive Lab, this is the Cotton Candy Ink BB and I really want to try out this. This is the first stick foundation that I have from Beach True. And moving on, I have some cushion foundations over here. And this is from La Palette. And one from Superface is the Lights Camera Action. And I have a backup. So once I'm done with the one inside here, I will put this in category that I'm most satisfied with, which is my concealers. I only have one from LA Girl. This is the Pro Conceal and I hope to only have one. And I have a color corrector over here. This is a pink corrector for under the eyes. It's from Alive Lab. It's the pocket ball cushion. And once I finish this up, I do not want to purchase any more color correctors. Instead, I might want to get something that is all in one, like a Stila One Step Correct, which is color correctors plus primers in one. Something happened here. I used to only have one powder, but now I have six. Let me go through them with you. This is from Iggy Lips. It's the Blur Powder Pack, and this is in my project pan. And from Too Cool For School, this is the UV Cover Pack, and I really wanted to try this out, so I bought it. This is from Maybelline Fit Me Matte and Polish Powder. And then now I'm going to move on to Loose Powders. And I have this from RCMA. This is the No Color Powder. And as you can see, I only have this amount left because I've been pouring some into this container. It has a sifter and it's just a lot easier to use. If you get the RCMA powder, you need to get something like that. If not, it will just drive you crazy. And another loose powder from Innisfree No Sebum Mineral Powder. Bought this in Korea. Obviously never ever um, have the chance to use it yet because I have all this to get through. So I really need to stop buying, use up what I have, downsize this category. This is from AOA Studio. This is the Perfect Setting Powder. This is from the Shop Miss A website and as you can see, it's a banana powder. Just bought it to experiment but I never really tried it yet but definitely want to try this out one day. In my head, I only have three highlights, but no, I actually have so many highlights hidden away in face palettes. So if I really count by pen, I actually have 16 highlights, which is ridiculous. And I definitely want to cut down on this because I'm not even one of those people who go like, yes, glow, no. <laughs> So I don't even know why I have so many. I have one from e.l.f. in pink diamonds and I have another one from The Balm Mary Luminizer. And this one is a duo from Innisfree and I'm counting this as a highlight. One from Slick, three from NYX Love You So Mochi palette, two from Pony Effects palette. From a Freedom palette, one, two, three works for me as a highlight. And from NYX Bond to Glow palette, one, two, three, four works for me as a highlight. I have six blushes and I'm really happy with the shade range that I have. I have one from Tarte Party Blush. I have a Samu blush. From EG Lips, I have two different shades. And then from Pony Effect, this is a blush. And from the Freedom Palette, this is what I use as a blush. I forgot this from Ilamaska, so I have actually eight blushes. Bronzers 5. I have one from Ilamaska. This is a cream product. I can't wait to get this used up. And from Innisfree, this is a bronzer from Sleek Pony Effect. And I use this as a bronzer, which is from my Freedom Palette. Forgot this from Too Cool for School, Art Class by Rodin, so I actually have 6. 
I think everyone gets overwhelmed in this kind of videos because I am, this is my eyeshadow collection and I have 86 pens. I'm counting them by pens to make it clearer to me. So for this two, one, two is what I use as eyeshadow from my NYX palette. Freedom palette, I use this and this. And then I have these two shadows from Dossé. And then this is my NYX Milk Jumbo uh, eye pencil. I'm just going to count it as an eyeshadow. From Studio 10, this is a liquid eyeshadow. From Ila Masca, there's 8 pens. From LA Girl, 12. IPKN Palette, 10. Rimmel Palette, 12. Romance Palette in Day, this is 10. In Night, also 10. A NYX Palette, 16. Eyebrows, I have 4. I finished up all my pomades and uh, brushes, all those kind of things. So now I only have pencils. Too cool for school dino plaids which is in my project pen and these three are all brand new. I'm glad that I don't have any two open at the same time. Misha Perfect Eyebrow Styler and this one is from Brow House. Eyeliners 7, pretty good variation. Three of them are pencils, all from Miss Hanna, but I'm only using one of them right now. Two eyeliner pens. This is Rimmel Scandalize, and this is from Ico, it's the I Do Liquid Eyeliner, both brand new. And I have two gel eyeliners, I'm only using this right now from Ila Masca, and this new one is from Bobbi Brown. Mascara has 5, but I'm only using the Illa Masca one right now. The rest are all unopened. This is from APU, it's the High Curling My Little Mascara. I have two from Rimmel, this is the Volume Shake and Extra Super Lash. And one from Magnum, the Big Shot. Before we move on to the lip products, I have some lip prep items. I have two kind of like lip balms, lip oils, and then I have three lip pumpers. This is definitely a little bit too much. So first one, I have a pink lip oil. So actually I can wear these two as lipsticks too from Shalando. From Innisfree, this is a tinted pink lip balm. I really love the shade. They have a lot. And then this is a plumper. But this is like a beginner's kind of plumper from e.l.f. One side over here is the plumper and this is a lip tattoo pen but I do not use this tattoo side. I just like to use the plumper side and a brand new one from Skin Chemist. This is the Rose Quartz Lip Pumper. Bullet lipsticks, I have 26. Ideally, I want to have less than 24. Never outgrow this casing over here. So I need to downsize a little bit. So over here, I have these two. They look like markers, but they have the exact same finish as a bullet lipstick. This one is from Aperia. It's the Bodacious Lip Pencil. And this one is the Morning Dew Lipstick from Clematis. And moving on to the case over here, this is from MDM Flow. I have one from Revlon. One from Illa Masca and a collaboration between Moonshot and Blackpink and of course my Red and Wow lipstick which is in my project pen and I have one Rimmel lipstick. Moving on over here, I have these two. They are from Etude House and these four over here, they are from Color Me Happy. Very moisturizing. I'm definitely going to link them down below. This one is from 3CE. It's my first and my only 3CE Star Nanda lipstick. This one is from La Palette and this four over here, they are from SEP Beauty, SEP Beauty and over here is my row of Romaine lipsticks. I really like their lipsticks a lot. This one's in the pastel pink packaging. They are all creamy lipsticks and there's four of them because the shades are spring, summer, winter and autumn. And over here, these two, they are long lasting matte lipsticks and when they say long lasting, they are really not joking with this. My lip tints and liquid lipsticks are just going to be under one category liquid lipsticks. So I have 9 of those from Tarte. This is the birthday gift. And then I have 3 from Romaine. I love this. You really need to try this out. These are amazing. From NYX, I have one over here. And this is from Too Cool For School. It's the Milky Tint. Really good too. You need to try that. This two I have over here is from Peri Pera. And then this one <laughs> is wrapped in toilet paper. No, no, tissue paper because this is from Aperia but it leaks so it's just going to stay inside the tissue and when I want to use it, after I use it, I have to wrap it back up. And then I have two markers. This is a different category by itself. They call it marker pen tint but I'm just going to call them marker pens. These are from APU. They're not very great, so but they're really cheap. And then I have two lip gloss over here. This one is from Shop Miss A, so it's only a dollar. This is the AOA Studio Diamond Lip Gloss. Amazing. And then this is my only ColourPop and everything is rubbed off. This is the Aquarius uh, Ultra Glossy Lips. We are at the last category, which is what I call makeup setting. 
For eye setting, I have this from April Skin, which is the fixing shell. You can use this on your eyeliner, eyeshadow, mascara. Amazing, I only have one and I'm very happy with it. And then for lips, I have one, two, three, four, five, six. This is from April Skin, it's the fixing shell, works really good. This is the Lip Matte from Romand. And this is, um, I find that it has a matte finish, so I prefer my April Skin way more because my April Skin doesn't really change the finish of my lipsticks. This fall from Sep Beauty, as Beauty. They're actually called Lip Share, so I'm not very sure if they share out the color, the set, or what functions they have, but I'm just gonna put them under my fixing um, category for now. But I definitely want to declutter the other three because they are the same things. Maybe I'll declutter two, I'm not too sure yet. And then for face, I have two. This is the NYX Dewy Finish. I'm gonna try and finish this up soon and then I will only be left with one, which I'm very happy with. This is the Rimmel Insta Fix and Go. So that's it guys, this is my entire makeup inventory and I'm a little bit amazed that I took 2 hours to film this video and this really made me see and honestly really overwhelmed me. You should really try this out if you want to go on a no buy because I, I can really tell you this has officially freaked me out, especially my eyeshadows. You could think of it as a negative way like scaring yourself into stop buying makeup or you could just think of it as being a more conscious consumer, knowing what you have, using what you have first. So I hope you enjoyed this video. I'm thinking of doing a 6 month update down the road. Let me know if you would like that and also let me know if you would like like a highlighter collection uh, or like a eyeshadow collection where I actually go into each palette tells you the review whether you should get it what is good what is bad about it and also the different swatches so I hope this was informative and I'll see you in the next one bye